The Victory Sports Cards here, and on this video, I will quickly talk PSA turnaround time, give a fun tip, and do a little pre-submission of the cards you see here. I'll be sending out to PSA today for their $14.99 modern special they have going on for the month of January. It's for cards 1993 and newer, and it's a minimum quantity of 10, and it's good for all sports. So... I'm very happy with this special, but it's also kind of bittersweet for me because with that special brings busyness to PSA and a flood of cards will be heading their way, clogging up everything and making the turnaround times go up again. It was just getting back to that 30 day sweet spot for bulk orders and I was loving it. Uh, I even had a recent 22 card value bulk order that I sent off to them just before Christmas. I think they received it on December 18th and they already finished it up yesterday and shipped it out this morning. So that's like two weeks and that's with Christmas and the New Year holiday in the middle of it. So I was beyond impressed. I was really happy with that. But it also really makes me think, you know, would I rather pay $19 per card and have it back in two or three weeks, or pay the $15 and have the card back in two months. It, it's kind of a tough one, but I think for me, it's probably still that $15 special price point. That's just hard to beat. And a lot of times the cards I sell aren't time sensitive, but if I were doing prospects or new release cards I need to get graded, I would want to, to pay up and have that faster service. So like, for example, at $15, I finally get to submit a lot of my 2003-2004 black Topps Chrome Refractor basketball set that I'm building on the uh, PSA set registry. And, you know, there's, there's no need for speed on those because it's for my PC. And later in the video, you'll see I will be submitting all 100 of these and hopefully build upon that set. Okay, so I got a good question in the comment section of my last video, that December sales video. Uh, in the video, I encourage people to really increase their knowledge of the world of sports cards, the history, you know, no, no vintage, no variety of sports, especially the big three, baseball, football, basketball. Gain experience submitting cards for grading and really to know the different decades of cards, 80s, 90s, 2000s, know the inserts, the sets, the short prints, the condition sensitivities to these these sets and all that kind of stuff. Um, because there are so many amazing cards that you can invest in, make some money on and collect. You just need to open your eyes to them. So the question in the comments was how? Uh, how do I gain that knowledge? And it made me realize I was kind of vague and I often forget I learned all that stuff because I'm old and I have been around the hobby for 30 years. So, so one good suggestion is to go on eBay and buy an old Beckett Card Plus price guide magazine. Um, buy it for the year around 2007, 2008. Buy a basketball one, a football one, and a baseball one. They look like this. Um, you can see there's Tomlinson on the cover. There's Ripken. There's Jordan. Um, and make sure to get that plus edition that you're going to have more of a catalog, more information in those plus magazines. Um, I remember, you know, getting out of college and studying and memorizing those magazines top to bottom, familiarizing myself with every set every year, uh, players, rookie card years. And I, I strongly recommend studying those like I did. Uh, you know, if, if certain sets catch your eye, go look up on eBay what they look like and what they currently sell for. Because obviously, don't go off the prices in those old Beckett's. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. I want you to use the information you learn from as kind of like a card Rolodex in your head so you can refer to it at any given time. Like if you're at a card show or on eBay surfing listings and you, you know, this way you'll be able to make some good purchases and diversify your ability to invest in certain cards. So I think that is a good tip. Also, another suggestion to answer this question is to go to card shows. 
really look at the tables at the shows and if you see a card from a set um, you know you've never seen it before you don't really know much about or a year you don't recognize look it up on your phone learn about it and keep doing that over and over build upon that soak up all the variety at the shows go ahead and talk to the vendors interact ask them questions this is how you're going to gain their years of experience and wisdom too and you know if you're on youtube a lot feel free to ask content creators on here too i think they'll have a lot of expertise to hand out freely all right i hope that helps some of you out there let's go ahead and quickly go over the cards i'll be submitting for this psa special there is probably 220 cards that i'll be submitting in this first wave i'll probably do two waves probably a total of 500 cards i'll be submitting throughout the month um, I will be breaking it up, this, these cards, into four different orders, containing probably around 60 cards each. I don't want to get stuck with a potential bad grader. Um, if I submit all 200 cards in the same order, that's why I always break them up. Um, and I, I like making these pre-sub videos because it's important to document what cards I'm sending in just in case there's potential damage to the card at the hands of PSA. You can kind of refer back to the video and see if, in fact, damage occurred at PSA or was already there and you just got lazy and overlooked it. But, all right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, I broke them up into four stacks of about 53 cards. Here we go. Here's the first submission. We got a Ronaldo, Mosaic, an E.T. Corbin, Corey Seager, Freddie Freeman. You know, he's one of my favorite players to collect. Joe Maurer. This card was clean. Just had one mark right there, like a fish eye, unfortunately, but it was sharp, probably a nine. Have a lock at number out of 10. Bryce Young. These are always condition sensitive, but that one looked clean. Brock Purdy. Sent in a bunch of his kind of basic rookies. I like the photogenic image, though. Patrick Queen and Lamar Jackson. This is Patrick Queen's rookie year of 2020, numbered out of 10. Good time to have that card. Jalen Hurts, just a basic rookie, just in case the Eagles pull it off. Patrick Queen, numbered out of 25, Camo. He made the uh, Pro Bowl this year. Really good season. Roquan Smith, Contenders Auto. Miles Garrett, I'm a huge fan of his. Daniel Hunter, he almost had the sack leader this year. Great career so far. Mike Evans, Dr. Chrome Refractor, Future Hall of Famer. Darius Slay, Auto. Fuzzies everywhere. Trent Williams, Orange Refractor Rookie, Matthew Stafford, that card was just clean. You'll see a lot more Flacco's in this order. Let's hope he uh, goes a little far in the playoffs. Uh, John Taylor, Otto, cool looking Jerry Rice, number 25, SP Authentic Gold. <clears throat> I just like the combo on this, Wilt and Jerry West. Prismatic, I love the look of that design. Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, numbered out of 60, Prism, Light It Up, I love that design from Optic, John Morant, numbered out of 99, Tyrese Maxey, uh, Orange Ice, John Morant, numbered out of 10, Biombo, Derek Rose, I love the color match on that card, numbered out of 350, Kyrie, Base Flagship Rookie out of Prism, Amari Stoudemire, numbered out of 50 gold refractor and then we got all of the uh 2003 2004 black refractors we got chris weber pasia they're all numbered out of 500 jason richardson and i'm hoping to get all nines and tens on these i i only send in nines are better sean marion jonathan bender joe smith we got a ray allen it's nice because this set, there's only 165 cards, so you're going to have better stars that way. And you are, you know, better able to collect the set. Like the sets that have 300, 400 cards, it's just kind of daunting. Derek Anderson, Tim Thomas, Keon Clark, Sheed, he's one of my favorite players on the Blazers back in the day. Lamar Odom. 
Keith Van Horn, and we got some golds too, Desmond Mason, and Marco Yarick, and a cool silver spotlight, Jordan. So that is the first submission. Second submission, we got some Bryce Harper, Kyle Schwarber, he's having actually a decent career, Pujols, Screen Refractor, Mike Stanton, I love this because it's so condition sensitive, these Bowmans, looks like at least a mint nine, a um, little top to bottom, a little thinner on the top, but it has good potential, uh, I love the look of this Austin, it's called Awesome Powers, but it has the Austin Powers look to it, uh, it's hard to find these centered, and this Canseco looked so clean. I had to do it. I had to do it. Aaron Donald, Optic, numbered out of 50. Some Brock Purdy rookies. Brock Purdy rookies. Barry Sanders color match. I love the look of that. It's numbered out of 299. Lamar Jackson. Nice looking card there. Tua, Number at 249, Darius Leonard, Shaq, Leonard now, number at 49, I love, Joku is um, playing so well, but the color match on this is just absolute fire, I love it, and it's number at 275, this is rookie, 2017, Chris Jones, silver, hollow out of optic, Amari Cooper, this is clean, this might get a 10, just bought it off eBay for like 48 bucks, I was happy with it, Darrell Rivas, gold, chrome out of 50, Hayward, Joey Porter looked clean, more Flacco, here's a Contenders Flacco I bought for around 65 70 and it looked clean too, has a chance out of 10, Maynard, and we got some basketball, Brandon Miller, I like that kind of lava look, Chris Paul, Monopoly, and got some LeBron James, number at 299 on that one, Scotty Barnes, let's keep it rolling, more brawn, more brawn flux. We got a Levert numbered out of five, actually, Father's Day. Uh, I love the image on this. Vince Carter, he has the coolest looking card because that he could dunk. Kyrie Irving, uh, some Darko. This card just looked really clean for being so condition sensitive. Number out of 50. Uh, LeBron James, this is Sports Illustrated for kids. Now we got into more of the 2003 Black Refractors. Antoine Walker, Wally, Andre Miller, Sean Marion, I think he'll be a future Hall of Famer soon, Alan Houston, Jason Terry, Jerry Stackhouse, Ron Artest, Nene, Mike Miller, Jamal Tinsley, AK-47, Tayshawn Prince, nice color match on this Eddie Jones, Desmond Mason, Antonio Davis, Chauncey Billups, future Hall of Famer really soon, Nakbar, and we got a gold Joe Smith, and a cool looking Brent Berry out of 2002 Tops Finest, refractor number out of 250, so that is submission number two. All right, next submission, third submission. We've got some soccer. David Raum, uh, select for the mezzanine. Yep, number 25. Uh, Bryce Harper, Corey Seager. I like the look of that color match card. Freddie Freeman. I like the base of this ultimate collection, just the design. Uh, Ichiro looks so clean. We got a Barry Larkin and Ripken midsummer matchup, condition sensitive. Aaron Rodgers, numbered out of 199 in his Jets uni. This is the retail red. They're um, maybe under 10 produced. Uh, Logan Hall, hard to pull in the retail. Brock Purdy, some basic rookie. Tom Brady, some Joe Burrow. I think this one's numbered to 399. Jalen Hurts, oh, silver select. Josh Allen, he's had, he made the Pro Bowl this year, number 149. Dak Prescott, retail red, short print. Second year card, third year card, 2008. 2017 Miles Garrett. Here's a cool looking Aaron Rodgers Black Refractor. 2015 last year Topps Chrome numbered out of 299. Brandon Cooks having a good year for the Cowboys. Good career. Travis Frederick. I'm sad his career was cut short, but he was on pace to be a Hall of Famer. Still cool looking card numbered out of 50. Trent Williams numbered out of 100. 
Steven Jackson, number out of 50. More Flacco. Uh, fan favorite, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, this is the gold, numbered out of 399. Here's a cool Kareem in his UCLA Uni, numbered out of 49. I love the color match on this Lillard, numbered out of 100. Keegan Murray. Here's another Lillard that I just love, the Supernova. Cool design, die cut, numbered out of 199. We've got Tyrese Maxey. Some Chris Stapps, numbered out of 50. I just like the card. Uh, Asik, uh, Asik, numbered out of 10. Gold Prism. Uh, some Chris Bosch, color match of the Heat. Numbered out of 49. Cool looking card. Some Tony Parker, Topps Chrome Refractor. We got some Amari Stoudemire, potential Hall of Famer soon. Numbered out of 50. All right. On to the blacks. We got Steve Nash. Uh, Penny Hardaway. Um, we got Darius Miles, Ben Wallace, I love the set, Elton Brand, Mo Pete, Marcus Camby, Jawan Howard, Michigan Dude, Kurt Thomas, Amari Stoudemire, Brad Miller, Kenny Thomas, that guy can rebound, Michael Red, Eric Snow, Matt Harpering, there's the Ginobili, second year card, Gilbert Arenas, and we got some gold refractors, we got Drew Gooden, and Andre Miller, and end on another silver spotlight, Jordan. All right, fourth and final order here. We got Larry Walker, great player for the Rockies, and Hall of Famer. This is the gold prism, gold for select 10 out of 10 uh campanella good looking card i like the design number out of 25 we got some buster posey i love the look of this in fuego they're the best if you get them in the the hollow the prism look Corey seager these actually sell pretty well 2010 um <laughs> this is actually game used bat for dave winfield and it's on this rookie design from archives it's a really cool card i like it Joe Namath, numbered out of a. This is numbered out of 10, actually. McDuffie, he's actually had playing pretty well for the Chiefs. We got Brock Purdy. Uh, Thunder and Lightning. We got T-Law and Travis. Nice duo there. And Tua Silver, Mosaic. Tua Select. Patrick Queen Contenders. Another short print, 2018, Miles Garrett. Silver, Tyreek Hill, Optic, 2016 rookie, Danny, Daniel Hunter. Um, he's having a good year, and I love the color match on this purple with the purple Vikings. Uh, Philip Rivers, number out of 50, Gold Refractor, 2012. Calvin Johnson, X Fractor, Trent Williams, this one looked great, 2010, base rookie. Uh, you don't see this card very often. Matt Forte, it's his rookie of 2008. Sterling, fan favorite, number out of 25. Joe Flacco, 2008. And these, you never see in good condition, especially 2006 and 2007. Um, this is 2005, Frank Gore's rookie year. And those ones, the quality control were better on these. Um, it looked amazing. Helmet Auto. Uh, you know, when you get these really, really thick cards, you don't want to jam them into these um, semi-rigids for grading. You don't because it'll just bend the corners a little bit when it sits in there. So what I do, I just take a kind of X-Acto knife and cut a slit on the bottom. That gives it room to breathe. See that? And it, and it holds. So that's my little tip on that one. Uh, we got a Butler and Clay, numbered out of 99. Julius Randle is quietly having another good year for the Knicks. LeBron James, uh, Cameron Thomas, that guy can score. A Jokic, numbered out of 299, kind of a color match. Tyrese Maxey. And we got Brooke Lopez, numbered out of 20. 
Chris Stapps, Silver Select Rookie, Second Year Damian Lillard, Red, White, and Blue, Roy Williams, Gold Refractor, numbered out of 50. I had two of those, actually. Amari Stoudemire, numbered out of 50, 2004 Roman Chrome, and then we got some more of the Black Refractors. Bobby Jackson, Pau Gasol, Latrell Sprewell, Baron Davis, that one looked really good, uh, Elton Brand, Richard Hamilton, we got Jerry Stackhouse, Theo Ratliff, Tyson Chandler, Mike Miller, Brent Berry, AK-47, Olo Candy, Sharif, Abdul Rahim, yep, Drew Gooden, Kwame Brown, David Wesley, and a gold Matt Harpering, numbered out of 99, and a nice 2002 on the Wizards, Michael Jordan, Topps Chrome, and a cool looking Cheryl Miller. 1994 so there you go i'm really excited to see have the grades come back on all these get them all into psa and uh and you'll be seeing them in future reveals uh thanks for watching this video i have three psa orders that are shipped back to me are ready to go so you should have a lot of good reveals really soon all right have a good day